Hi, welcome to the How to I video series for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2. My name is Katrin Kienau and I am a Microsoft Dynamics NAV technical lead and I will be presenting how do I create a web service that is based on account schedule KPIs in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2. At the end of this video, you will know how to create a pivot chart in Excel that is connected to a KPI web service from Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2. The objectives of this video are to publish a web service and connect from Excel to Microsoft Dynamics NAV. To do this, we will be going through two easy steps. As step 1, we edit the account schedule KPI web service setup. We choose the GL budget name 2015 and enter KPI as name for the web service we are creating. In the account schedules fast tab, we choose the account schedule name analysis from the drop down menu. Now we publish the web service. To see more details about the just created web service, we go to tab Navigate and choose Web Services. Here we can also see the link to the location of the web service. We will need this link later in step 2 to establish the connection between Microsoft Dynamics NAV and Excel. As step 2, we now use the just created web service. We want to integrate the KPI data in Microsoft Dynamics NAV with Excel so that we can update the data in Excel at any time. Therefore, we connect Microsoft Dynamics NAV with Excel using OData and the web service created in step 1. This connection is established from Excel. In the data connection wizard, we enter the location of the web service we want to connect to. Here we enter the link we can also find in the account schedule KPI web service setup. If you need guidance on how to create and use OData in Microsoft Dynamics NAV, you can find a description in the online help. We now go through the rest of the wizard and finish it. In the Import Data dialog box, we select Pivot Chart. Once the data is retrieved, we can drag and drop the desired fields as needed. As an example, I will choose the Account Schedule Name as Filter, the KPI Name as Legend, the Date as Axis, and the Balance at Date Actual as value. The pivot chart is now automatically updated and we can change as needed. As an example, I will change the chart type to line. Whenever I want updated KPI numbers from Microsoft Dynamics NAV, I can go into Excel and choose Refresh. At the end, here is a short summary of the steps. In step 1, we created a KPI web service in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. And in step 2, we connected this web service with Excel and imported the data. Thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you again in another episode of our How Do I video series for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2.